of Negril, which is really in Westmoreland. But it has grown quite a bit, and much of it now is in Hanover. And so there is always a kind of dispute between the two municipalities. Who is responsible? Who is responsible? That needs to be resolved. And it can be resolved by creating a municipality of Negril. In fact, you could have the same new and old Negril, and you properly define it with its own municipal government. And so that is something that we are also now examining. Holness promises major developments for Hanover. And I must say, that's a good thing. There are so many things in Jamaica we can take pride in, but the hoodlums have refused to give us a break, to give our beautiful country a break. The Prime Minister Holness has promised major infrastructure development for the Western Parish of Hanover. And with Hanover experience, then there's more for tourists to come and enjoy in Jamaica. And there's more foreign money that will come in. Mr. Holness also participated in several engagements, including market tours in the parish on Friday, sought to assure residents that Hanover was on what he calls his development radar. He said bypass roads are in the pipelines for the towns of Hopewell and Lucy. Additionally, Mr. Holness pointed to possible plans for Negril, West Milan, which he noted has expanded into Hanover. And you see, it's election time now. So you know what happened election time. Things where them never see for how many years they're going to see it. Because sometimes it's not really fair to the people. Because this is some kind of psychological blackmail because they wait they see all the things that needs to be done and they wait until it's near election time and they come around and say these things and sometimes when they even win the election they get voted back in they do nothing so people has to think with their heads and not with their hearts not because people can give a big a good speech and promise things that mo don't mean it's going to happen. Jamaica has developed so much. Look at Portmore. There's the issue of Portmore now because the PNP are worried that if it becomes a parish, then the JLP will win in that area. And the JLP, the Prime Minister promised that he will not use it as a political pawn and will hold off until after the election. Now the issue of Hanover and Westmoreland, Negril development have improved so much that it hinges on Hanover also. This is really a good thing for Jamaica. It is such a pity that we, as Jamaicans, are so preoccupied with all the crimes that we cannot in any way focus on all the good things that are happening to Jamaica. And if we notice recently, just this year, the Prime Minister is pointing out so many things that needs to be done and things that he's going to be doing. And he knows that all these promises he's making cannot be done in a year or in the period of time before the election. What about the years that he had been in there? Why didn't he just go ahead and start all these projects? There are so many good projects. But then, if the PNP win the election, I guess maybe they will ride on the bandwagon of the current Prime Minister's ideas, because he has some very good ideas. But he will not have the time before the election to do all these things. And when he makes these promises, like how he told people that they would be sleeping with their doors open. And no, they're not sleeping with their doors, doors open. They're adding more bars, burglar bars to their homes. More and more burglar bars. So if them had one burglar bar on the window, now them have, are, th they're thinking of adding two. So that's a promise that he made. Though the Prime Minister cannot be blamed for the crimes, the solution becomes more and more difficult because of the people that surround 
those that commit crimes, the ones that are hiding them, the ones that are encouraging them, the ones that are taking things from their criminal activities without asking them where they get it from. These are some of the people that the people that are encouraging these things. And the Prime Minister made the promise, a promise that was impossible, one that he would not have been able to keep. But you see, when it comes to election time, People should never listen to promises of politicians because half the time they never deliver, which he never kept. Although, Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.